Good afternoon, YouTube. Daily Motion. Everyone that's out there that's going to hear this, friends that are hearing this, people that share. Um, this morning I reported a little bit about this storm, and as you see, it just left one of the tracking lines right here. But as you notice, the eye is not as formed. It's breaking down. And it's going towards the other island, as you see up here to the top side. The big islands. Now, in my personal opinion, I think this storm has completely come apart before it gets there. And I don't think there's as much damage to Okinawa as before. Some lady had reported to on my page that her son was there and she's very worried about him. I think he's going to be okay now. And I'm sure that when everyone was praying and making those suggestions that they were praying for everyone over there, not just one person or one family. Or at least I was. Now, my opinion is just my opinion. I've never claimed, like many have, that they're almighty and all powerful. Can tell you things and make it right. I'm not going to tell you no lie. I'm not going to build my channel on a lie. Like a lot have. And a lot of people have accused other people of doing the same thing. Some people do a lot of research. And they learn a lot. And they find out a lot. And some do research and get strong-headed and they hold their system the way they want to and do what they want to with it. That is the corporate greed, the working people. Yeah, you heard me, the corporate greed. The money, the background. I'm not mentioning anybody. I'm not calling out anybody. I'm not saying anything about anyone. This don't pertain to any one particular person either. And it ain't nobody that you may think you know. This is just a 53 year old man talking to all of y'all. That seen a lot, done a lot, and seen things happen to my country and your country, the ones that live in the United States and around the world, too, by the way. There is so much bad news that I just looked through. I had to leave this morning and go do some things. There's so much bad news that I have seen today that it just there's no one story to report it's that damn bad you know I pleaded and I tried to get everyone on board trying to cripple the corporation shut them down to stop them for two days we all know how that turned out nobody's handful of people that heard this or heard that stayed at home but now today on the 8th 
there is so much craziness in the news today. There's not one story to report. And for any of them to make any sense, you've got to be totally awake and understand all the propaganda that they're pushing. They're hitting you from every angle they can. I've seen a story about Nibrook coming. Bigfoot send stories. Uh, sharks send stories. I mean, the the border patrol being sent home with pay, but not to patrol the border. I mean, just I, you name it. Russia, and China, uh, they're having meetings at the Pentagon about Russia and China and the major war back to the Cold War again I mean really folks how much propaganda can one fucking person have in a day just one how long are y'all gonna keep chasing all the rabbit holes I seen a story yesterday about Walmart and the sun worshippers. They literally said this in the video. Now I'm not calling out anybody by saying that. I said sun worshippers. Period. End of that. Even on the logo of the Walmart sign with the little thing calling it the Walmart. Sun worshippers. Is it possible that there's so many people that are that brainwashed that they don't have an, their own thought or their own recognition of which way is right and which way is wrong? Is it possible? I guess it is. I don't want to brainwash no one to think one way or the other. I want everyone to think for themselves and have their own their own leadership in their self. Don't follow me. I'm just a person just like you. Don't worship a movie star because you think they're wonderful and all great because they done such a good job in a movie or a basketball player or football player or president or senator or congressman they're no different than you people they put on their pants just like you do and they put on their panties just like you do and they may even put on their bra just like you do. They're no different than you. They have a brain, so do you. We, the people, have brains. And this is for everybody in this world. And I want you to listen closely to what I'm telling you. If the United States falls, remember this, if we lose our complete freedoms and rights, which is at a rapid speed of decline, and I mean rapid, every day they pass a new law, <clears throat> in one city or one state or somewhere else, they're passing them. And Congress and the Senate, they're sitting there on their sorry asses and not doing anything about it. The May Day Pact, U.S. May Day Pact. Are they going to help do anything with their 
what they got now. Seven million dollars that they got donated to them. Are they going to be able to help? Or are they really wanting democracy? Which is 51%. It's not democratic voting. They're screaming democracy. We're a republic. We're a democratic republic. Are we going to be free any other way? No, you're not. You can't be. And I've had been attacked so many times for so many different things about the Act 1871. And you know, the only thing I accomplished was waking up hundreds of people to the fact that this country is a corporation and we are a corporation I'm sorry about the little chickity chack noise that you're hearing in the background my bird decided to start eating while I'm talking so that's what you're hearing I can't do anything about it I'm not going to scream at her to make her stop eating but folks in your heart and in your soul most of you say heart for the function of weather modification it's not just heart I've never claimed that it was just heart the name of rings a radar called heart rings and skater squares doesn't mean anything bad it's just a word right everyone's trying to destroy the word or acknowledgement weather modification of heart what it can or can't do and it's an old dinosaur right let me reassure y'all something. The antenna system that they had is not a dinosaur by no means. And to repair an antenna system like they had uh, doesn't take a whole lot because it was built right to start with. And antenna systems, if they're done right, they last a long time very long time you may have to clean connections or something to that effect but that's not so bad as trying to build a brand new system but now if you want to update a system that's built like that because there's no modern technology and better sophisticated equipment you change the equipment you don't change the location you don't change the antenna system you don't change nothing you just upgrade the system ham radio recently I would say in the last couple of years went to digital transmission sure did on all their bands as well so people don't ever think that when they tell you that they don't have the funding or they've got this or they've done that and they've closed this or they've moved this they may have moved apart but do you think that you could walk on the heart property right now I bet you they'd shoot you. Sure do. I bet you there's still people there too. And if the people that lives around there ever reported it, they'd probably get killed. And that's probably why they don't ever say nothing. But there has been some that have said, I don't live far from there and I know they're still transmitting.
But hey, some people know everything, right? Only because they've been on TV and they got a million bucks or a couple of million bucks or a couple of billion bucks. It doesn't matter how much money they got. It's all in the influence of people, of what someone's got and how smart they think they are. Because they follow people, they don't listen for themselves. They don't pay attention. They don't pay attention to the things around them enough. They're worried about their Coca-Cola, their iced tea or their beer, their television show, their basketball game, uh, the funniest home videos, dances with the stars. I mean, the list goes on and on and on. How many times they can go into Walmart today and buy a pair of tennis shoes? Or buy sandals or flip-flops? Or how many gallons of beer they can buy? Or how many gallons of iced tea? It doesn't matter, does it? But does everybody think, sit back and think, <clears throat> what Walmart really is? You never sit back and thought. Well, I'm gonna tell you some little story. And this is where the fad become a fad. Old man Walmart had a few stores here and there and around there. And he had plenty of money. He made good money. And they come out with a slogan. Maybe some of you are old enough to remember this. Maybe some of you aren't. We sell American made products. That's when Walworth, World Worth or whatever was around. And they were selling all that foreign made stuff. And they were doing a big business. Well, Walmart come along and they started a worldwide slogan pushed it hard. We sell American made products. Y'all all remember that, don't you? The ones that are at least 25 remember that when you was a kid. Yeah, Walmart. We sell American made. Have you been in the Walmart lately? Have you seen where it comes from? Have you? Have you really paid attention? If you can get past the, the the chips, not chips, but the the tags that's got identification markings in it that they can track. Have you really paid attention? There ain't nothing there anymore. I don't even think there's a tool there anymore that's made in the United States. All made in either China, Russia, not Russia, China, Taiwan, Japan, Mexico, Korea. It's all made with the cheapest. I'm not going to say that. It's the cheapest labor in the world coming from them places. Especially Mexico, China. Japan, Taiwan, slave, slave labor. And at all these times, have you ever thought where the jobs in the United States are going? Why you don't have a job? Well, that's because you run down there to those Walmart places and you buy all that stuff. Yeah, it's cheap. And it's cheaper than most places. I'll give you that. But what you're doing, listen to my words closely. What you're doing is you were making it where your salary is going to go to nothing before it's over with. 
How do I mean that? Well, let's see. If you buy the cheap product from places like Walmart and places that don't sell American made goods for a long enough period of time, that other country, like China, for instance, is going to have a more worth value than the United States. And that happened, what, about a year and a half ago now, right? To where Russia become the number one person. We're number two. Sometimes number three because we're slipping that fast, that quick. And if the truth was to be told, it probably even further than that. But yet, we still run over there to Walmart. And we don't look at the tags and pay attention to what country it comes from to support our own country. And we run down there and we buy farm made vehicles instead of buying vehicles from our own country or motorcycles. Everything we can comes from other countries, including your TV and your VCR and your computer. If you notice, everything comes from somewhere else. But we don't have none of those kind of manufacturers in this country. Isn't that weird? How do we make a living here? Hmm. I guess we make a living by stealing from other people. That's what the government's been doing. they stealing from us. Stealing from you too. You know, this was I didn't start out to make this video like this. But after seeing all of that news today, I, I just can't bring my heart to do anything other than this right now. I guess you call it I'm just venting. It's a terrible shame of what's going on. And I know I'm showing you weather, and I'm not even talking about weather, except for the very first part. But you know, people, it's up to us, the American people, and all the people all over this world that truly want freedom to stop hollering democracy. And hover, ho start hollering that you want to be sovereign, free, individual. That's where your rights come from, folks. Quit signing documents and deeds to banks that is incorporating you into the corporate system. Let's fight to abolish the corporation, all corporation in the United States and around the world. Corporate government is, is destroying our world. We don't have enough money to fight it, but we do have enough life and breath in our bodies to stop them by not supporting them. You know, we've supported them for so long that we think we're getting a handout from them with welfare, food stamps, and unemployment. But the unemployment's getting bigger than the government can handle. Food stamps is getting bigger than the government can handle. So they borrow more money to pay those people. Because they were too busy playing policemen somewhere in another part of the world that we had no business being there. For a lot of years, we've played policemen. And that all comes under a lot of different acts that took place. 
and incorporated us. Obama's not our president. He is our CEO to the corporation. The senators and the congressmen, they're all the same. They're all bought and paid for by the corporation that paid for them. Which brings us back to May Day U.S. That's what he said in his speech. We're going to get enough money so we can buy us some congressmen and some senators. For $12 million or $14 million is what they ended up getting. They got $7 million and they got it matched dollar for dollar. How they did that, I don't know. But $14 million, that ain't going to buy them shit. That ain't going to buy one. Don't anybody know that out there yet? I mean, how much, how many billions and billions of dollars did Obama collect for run for president? And Hillary Clinton? Them people don't work for free. They don't. You gotta have them people to make money off of you. And they're doing a very damn good job. You know, we're losing our country, we're losing our freedoms. And if I, there's more than a handful of people that watches this video, I'm gonna be surprised. I really am. And the reason why I say that is because <laughs> it doesn't even, I ain't even going there. It's just discouraging to see the things that they've hit my channel with. I want to see you, your children, and your grandchildren be free. I do. I also want to see mine that way too. I also want them to have a future, my grandkids and your grandkids. But the way our country is going, they're going to be slaves. They even may be more of a slave than the original slaves that were brought to this country as slaves back in the day. It may even be worse than then. And it won't be race nor color. It wasn't race and color back then either. How it become just blacks that were slaves um, I, I'll never figure that out because you had Chinese people you had Asian people you had all kinds of people that were slaves they wasn't just black the racial word in this country is just unbelievable to me the racial tension in this country is just unbelievable. It wasn't just blacks that were slaves. Hell, the Indi American Indians, the ones that was here before England, those are slaves still to this day on reservations. And the blacks are bitching because they're, they're slaves. And they don't like a certain word because they were a slave. Really? Do you see my point, people? Do y'all even gather what I'm trying to tell y'all? The first slave owner in this country was an English black man. He was a senator to the United States, too, by the way. The race didn't come. Until everybody wanted it to be a race. Don't you know that that was planned? England don't have a race problem. They're beginning to have one now because of Muslims and all the bad publicity that they're getting. That's just another 
another angle for y'all. You understand? This is just another country with another race problem. And it's not really race. It really ain't. We're all human beings. We all breathe air. We all exhale carbon dioxide, which they don't want you to breathe because it's causing global warming. Do you see my point? People, do you see the point that I'm making here? Everything that we do on this earth is being controlled. And y'all are allowing it to happen by fighting with your fellow man and saying that guy's full of shit or she's full of crap. She don't know what she's talking about. Or he don't know what he's talking about because you got butt hurt or spanked or hurt or you got mad at somebody because this person was mad at you for whatever reason. Don't y'all understand the fighting between us for all of these years? And us not caring about our friends or our neighbors or the people around us? and we don't want to argue, and we live in neighborhoods that are so close and tight, but we don't even speak to our neighbors. We don't even want to speak to them because we're scared what they may or do, or do to us, say to us, or they might want something, or they want to tell you how to live your life by cleaning your damn house, or uh, your your yard needs cutting, or uh, you got a piece of trash in your yard, or whatever the case may be. You catch my drift. Or you live a mile away from them. And that would be, that's just great. When you live that far away from neighbors and you can be that far, that's great. But when you get in a city, you can't live that far away. You can't. You can't get far enough away from them. Even though you want to. And living in homeowners associations, you're just buying you a double corporation. Yep. You're paying taxes to the state, and you're paying taxes to the association. And that's a tax, too, by the way. Because they've incorporated that now, just like the, 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 the mob did when they wanted insurance. They kept going to Congress and the Senate and uh, all of them little cities and states. and They got all these little laws passed and then they got incorporated into federal law and now you have to buy insurance. The same thing they did around here with homeowners associations. People wouldn't pay it because they wouldn't do something. So they kept going to court with the money that people that did pay. They went with the money and quit going to court, kept going to court, kept going to court until they passed a law where... They can take your house away from you if you don't pay, no matter the situation. It doesn't matter. They don't care. They're going to take it away and give it to somebody else, and you're charged with the loan. Yep. You're charged with the loan. And you got to wait until the bank forecloses so you can get out from underneath the house. But then they sell the mortgage two or three times to two or three other companies. And they come after you and come after you until they get tired of it and they sell it off to somebody else and they do the same thing all over again. And in the meantime, you got five years of someone living in the house that belongs to you in your name that they deeded to somebody else, but the loan is in your name. You get my drift? And they continuously getting money off this house free gratis, and they're not paying for the, the loan. You think that's fair? No, it's not fair at all. Not one bit is that fair. Is it constitutional? Hell no, it's not constitutional. Taxes aren't constitutional to start with. But, yet, yeah, we signed the deeds, and we signed the mortgages, and we signed on the dotted line. Made us a corporate entity. To our straw man. Yes, sir. Sure did. Does anybody care?
As long as they got a brand new car to drive up and down the road with and their son can, or their daughter or their child has got them whatever automobile that they can drive and they scraping by to pay every bill they got and they can have a one or two days off during the week or on the weekend and they can relax and rest and then work till they're 65 or 70 years old and then die and then their child can take over. What they don't understand is by the time their child gets that old they might not even get to live that age. Might be some law that they have to put them to sleep when they get a certain age or they get too many health problems because of the new Obama health care. Remember? Well, when you get to a certain age, we'll just give them a pill and make them comfortable. But this old lady that he was talking to, her mother had just had hip surgery. But Obama plainly stated in his speech that he just give them a pill and make them happy. You know what that means? That means watching an elderly person like that take morphine like they do cancer victims when they're too far gone and they're trying to help them rest. That's what he meant. Give them a pill and let them rest. They deserve it. Do they? Do they deserve to die or do they deserve real help? If it's your parent or your mother, do you want to give her a pill and just let her rest? Or would you like to see her be healthy again by fixing her hip or her knee replacement, shoulder, shoulder retied to their, their bones? All can be done. But yet we have insurance companies in this country that wrote the health care bill that started out as the mob to start with. Got all these laws passed and now health care is so, uh, so expensive you can't take a pig down there with you anymore and pay your, hospital, your doctor bill because you got to pay the hospital and all of its overhead and all of its insurance. Most of you doctors that are good doctors are quitting because they can't afford the insurance. Malpractice insurance. They started malpractice insurance because they were getting sued. Because they learned how to sue because of insurance companies again. One insurance company suing another. It's just a big game, a big scheme, a big lie. To all of you, to me, to everybody, we all are living a lie. We're living in a twisted system that's been broke for a very long time. And I don't know one person on the internet anymore, maybe a couple that really understand that that hasn't got lost in the corporate system in one fashion or another hell there's even a report that they're trying to arrest Alex Jones, Alex Jones. could be a lie might not be don't know also trying to arrest another one on SOPA laws. Trying to put him in jail with attorneys and lawyers and fees. And if they do, that means we're all in trouble on the internet. For websites, web pages, the whole thing. You need to wake up, people. You need to do everything in your power to get corporate signatures out of your life. Quit signing papers. Quit acknowledging capital letter products to come to your house. 
It's just my opinion. I want to be free. I want to be sovereign. I wasn't playing when I said that. I've seen things happen in the last 15 to 20 years that are scaring the living hell out of me. I see the things that I did when I was a kid and I see a kid even hint towards doing something like that today and it's not nothing bad it's just two kids in the neighborhood get in an argument get in a fight nine times out of ten they both go to jail anymore did you know that? see how weird that is? I mean that It is so bad to see your killed your children get wrapped up into craziness like this. Little girls getting punched in the face by cops. Grown men getting beat to death by cops. We're talking about homeless people, some of them. That could be you. You know, I've taught a long time. I don't know that I feel a damn bit better because I don't know that it really helped. But I did my best. It's just an older guy who sees his freedom going away. And watching a whole bunch of 25, 30 year old whippersnappers thinking it's all about a big business making money to be free don't have him any efforts of trying to help, share, push or make anything right for anyone but themselves So with that, folks, much love to y'all. Y'all have a good day. And remember, from my cold, dead hands, let's abolish the corporation.